gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh today it's been pretty busy last couple of days uh right now i've got to go to a local customer and uh, offload some forklifts out of a box trailer we'll load them on out of the trailer onto the bed of this truck and then move forward and let the uh, bed down and drive the forklifts off uh, and then there were there's reports of a pretty bad crash down around Chaffee and Oran they're having to extricate somebody I uh, don't know if we'll get the call for that one or not uh, apparently it's a pretty bad situation uh, as always, even though we may not get the call when we hear about things like that, we always send up prayers and uh, I ask viewers to do the same. Anyway, I'm going to focus on this job here. Shouldn't take too long, just three forklifts to unload. Uh, let's see if we get the call for the other one. Okay, we did receive the emergency call between Chaffee and Oran, so I've got to hurry and finish unloading these two. We got two left. gentlemen as always thank you for watching and God bless now we have to move on to the next job hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching I don't know if I'll get to show both videos because I don't know the extent of damage on or injury on the call that I'm getting ready to go to. Uh, I just finished unloading three forklifts out of a box trailer for a customer and we've been called by the Missouri State Highway Patrol for a uh, pretty significant crash between Chaffee and Oran. Uh, patient had to be extricated from the vehicle 
do not know the extent of the injuries. Uh, I always say a little prayer myself. I ask that my viewers please uh, say a prayer, good thoughts, well wishes, uh, whatever your belief system is. Uh, I'm headed that way now. I don't know much about the situation other than uh, I said it was a passenger vehicle approximately 20 feet off the road or down an embankment, one of the two, between Chappie and Orient. Uh, so here we go. Again, ask for prayers, good thoughts, and well wishes. Uh, it didn't sound good. I'm going to focus on driving and uh, see if I can go help. Hey, okay. we got to go down here and turn around. Vehicle is overturned and on its roof. Uh, just talked to one of the firemen, and that's really all I know at this point. He, we discussed moving his uh, vehicle so that I could get in where I needed to be. Uh, I'm going to go up here and turn around so that I'm in a better position to recover this thing. things about most all of the local emergency services we work enough together we've got each other's back watch each other's six however you want to say it Yes, sir. Are you want to come in this way or where you want to be at? Yes, sir. I want to be on the opposite side of it and I'll flip it that way. Towards the north. Then. Yes, sir. See with this truck out of the way. If you don't mind, yes, Absolutely. sir. Absolutely. You going to come forwards or backwards? of the driver 
Fine. this simple for ourselves. Small loop there. Don't think we're gonna save the truck. It is shot. and pre-rig this so that it's ready whenever I roll it over. Oh, there's another one right there. I'll use this forward one instead on that. Nope, I won't either. Because the way it will pull. This will work right there.
Was that the horn screaming at me? toolbox stayed in it that was my main concern I was worried it wasn't going to Lots of tools. Lots of tools. Poor old truck is trash though now. Good thing about a truck though, they got plenty of room to put all the crap in. You don't think it just needs a paint job? Nah. What is it, a little uh, Bondo and duct tape, and we it'll be all right. Take it up to James and say, Hey, you'll fix this. I need a uh, windshield put in. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. I know a guy that owns a truck like this. I hope it's not him. I don't think he'd have kept this much stuff in the bed of the truck though. I don't know about that. That'd be pretty close. Well, maybe on maybe more than I do on this truck. I don't know about that big truck though. I carry quite a bit. It's like longer to load up all the stuff than it did to roll it over. And that's with two of you helping me. Oh. <laughs> Unused too. Hey, you were. Hell, I'll steal that stuff. Have you ever found out cops like to acquire stuff? No. I work at the Indian Guess what? The fire department. I go up there. That's where I get my. How y'all liking that new brush truck? Oh man. I was down there at New Hamburg, Kelso C7, whenever they whenever they uh, had oh, yeah, the Yeah, when they showed it. Yeah, when whenever they showed it. it. Shauna was just Shauna's mouth was dropped down oh, to her. <laughs> See, I worked with her long ago. She's like, hey, there he is. She was like, man, she's like, we've been talking about it, but Oh, it's, nice. it's really nice when you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> yeah, we've got one of our, uh, or one of her brush trucks in our shop right now with uh -huh. fuel pump out of it. Uh -huh. totally. One that had the uh, big round water tank on the back with the orange baffle balls. Yeah. Uh, well, you guys didn't take this one. Ooh. He's already had other guns in there. They got some on that one. Or 
Huh. Are you taking that or you want me yeah. to put it in my truck? I'm going to take it. They already took his other guy. Okay. All right. No problem. Well, he can do that. I know he can do that. He can do that. I'll tell you what. You have a scoop a chance? Uh, I got a little shovel up there. Dude, I don't know. I haven't seen anything else. Yeah, so of course, I didn't see that one. I just happened to see it right there. He's got a keen eye for that, you know. He's kind of trained to do that. I crawled over that one. I was like, I don't know. Like, I look Clayton's like, you need anything? And I'm like, yeah, I need you to get out of the way of this barrel that's pointed right at you. He's like, no. Oh, he's like, oh, man. That's not cool. Like, yeah, I said, let's watch out for that. I didn't eat, you know, that's one of those things, like, it was covered up all the jackets whenever I first got in there. Right. Well, he was prepared for, prepared for pretty much anything. I would say so. Yeah. Except a crash. <laughs> oh, wow. I know, well, being in emergency services, you know how that goes. We don't always oh, yeah. get, we don't so always get this. We don't always get the sleep we need or want. Hey, if I get four hours, I'm happy. No kidding. All right, you guys good or we want to scoop up the glass too? You good? Yeah, as long as it, as long as it doesn't mess up the farmer's field. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start bringing her around then. everybody go start coming around She's free rolling. the road for about five to ten and for half an hour an hour just so i can line up with him and i'll just load him right up where he's at as long as i can get the road if not i'll reposition no, and do it okay
like this on this side maybe a time or two maybe a time or two let me throw a quick tie down on the back and I'll get out of the way and clear the lane. Back up and clear the lane. Yeah, I'm good. Go ahead and send them.
Good number on her. Right. I don't make them like I used to though. Either. No. Not as bad as what I figured it would be. Yeah, you We go. You take off? Yeah. All right. Y'all good? I think so. You need to take the No, good? sir. I'm good as long as y'all are good. Okay, absolutely. Hey, I appreciate All right. it. Yes, thank, thank you very you. much. Bye. You thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all. Appreciate the help. Uh, all right, thank you. Oh, excellent people to deal with. Dun, dun, dun. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. All good. Loaded up, taking her back to the shop. The trooper said that uh, the driver had minor injuries, which is excellent. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless. <laughs>